Hey y'all, it's Fiera and I'm back again with What The Flip. Uh, I know y'all didn't think I was gonna be back, but I promised that I was going to at least post the second part of this platform bed. So here you have it, part two of the platform bed series. Um, it wasn't a difficult flip. Um, there were some hard parts, which you will hear me gripe about <laughs> throughout the video. But it turned out really pretty and my sister liked it. Um, on the other hand, there are some, there were like a couple things that I would have changed if I would have like uh, done this flip for myself because I was making it for my sister and she was like, budget, budget, okay. <laughs> budget, budget, so I budget, budget it. Um, but um, for the bottom, the platform part I made, I used a queen size bed skirt and if to like as a lesson learned i would have used a full size bed skirt because it would have been like less risk of the white part of the bed skirt showing on the outside of the um showing on the outside of the platform bed which i like really had to concentrate on, on that first part the second thing was all right so there was a stage that i skipped on the headboard um you'll see where i put holes in um the main part of the board I, sh I was supposed to put holes in the foam also and then put a layer of batting over that. And that would have just made um, it much easier to make deeper tufts on the headboard. But since I only put holes in the, um, the, the base and not the foam, like the tufts aren't that deep, but it still turned out great and she loved it. So if you're interested in seeing how I made the second part of the platform bed, make sure you keep watching. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future flips. All right. Stay tuned. So right here, I'm just marking where all the buttons are going to be for the headboard. marking out all the um where all the buttons gonna be on the board i put the dimensions in the um, description box but it's really basically eight inches apart that way and seven inches apart that way so hopefully it all works out now i'm about to use this little thing right here to <laughs> i think it's called uh i don't know what it's called y'all it's a it's a bit for a drill that cut circles so i'm about to use that to cut circles for the holes It's not, it's not working really. I don't know, this is my first time using one of these and you probably said. Why is this not working? Something's happening, guys. Oh. I gotta do that 17 more times. <laughs> So instead of going all the way through, I decided to just start all the holes and then later you and then later you'll see me flip it over and then I'll uh, just go all the way through.
I finally got all the holes in the headboard. Hey, even though I had to go um pick up a different pair of tools. That other one was too weak, so I had to go get my big guns. Finally done. Alright, so now that I finished all the holes, I'm about to do the last part of the day. Ooh, the last. The last part of the day, and that is gluing on this freaking one inch foam I bought from Walmart. It's like $15 a roll. The roll is 72 inches long by 24 inches. So two feet by like six feet. All right, so let's do glue. All right, so when I glue this foam down, I kind of have it like an inch over the wood on all the edges because when I put the fabric on it, I want the um, the foam to go over, to bend over instead of being like flush with the wood. So yeah, there's that. So an inch over the wood on all sides for the foam. Whew. Honestly, this didn't really help, so you could probably skip this step. But, anywho, <laughs> this is also um, that first part with the skip holes that I was talking about. So, technically, I was supposed to put holes in the foam to match the hole location in the wood, and that would have made it easier for me to make tufts um, on the headboard. Okay, I lied, that's not the last thing I'm gonna do tonight. I wanna see how to put in some, so I'm gonna put one in and then I'm going. <laughs> so to attach the fabric, you gonna need some, wait. To attach the buttons and the fabric, you gonna need some thread for the buttons, and a little upholstery needle, the buttons, Lay Bouton <laughs> and a stapler. <laughs> All right, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Hmm. This is gonna be easy because this will be so easy. I don't know what I'm doing. I gotta watch a YouTube video. All right, so I watched the video and apparently you don't put the thread through the needle first. You put the thread through the button first. <laughs> thread, button. And pull it through. Oh my gosh, y'all. It's so 
okay, boom. Oh. It's so cute. Let me let y'all see. <laughs> let me let y'all see. Isn't that so freaking cute? Oh my gosh. It's gone. Oh, this hair more about to be lit. Yes. Okay, I lied again. Since it's so cute, I want to keep going. So I'm going to keep going. <laughs> I'm just going to put the buttons in. about to use this staple thing to staple everything in place. I'm back for day three, so I have already finished stapling all those um stapling all those buttons on the back. Oh my gosh, it was tough. But it's starting to look like a headboard now. And now I'm just I've started um stapling the edges. So that's where we are now. Wherever you see a lump, that means you need to add a staple. Well, that means I need to add a staple, but I'm done stapling. Now, on to the next side. Everything that got messed up. So whenever I was putting the buttons in the headboard, the um the the fabric shift, the fabric shifted. So one side is um hanging off. One side is too short for me to wrap around right here, so I have to go back and cut an inch off the backboard, an inch off the foam, so I'll be able to wrap. The fabric.
So right now I'm just measuring one inch from the edge, that's it. of the uh, platform bed series. Um, now I'm about to hang hang the headboard and I just wanted to show all y'all an option before I start showing actually how I'm gonna hang it. <laughs> before I start showing how I'm gonna hang the headboard. Anywho, so look at that. That looked like a headboard, right? I, um, this is just an option of just sitting it straight on the floor pushing the platform bed right up against it, holding it in place. Like if you're not, if you're not jumping on the bed and getting wild, if you're not jumping on the bed, <laughs> if you're not jumping on the bed, then it should be fine. But this is just an option for your DIY handboard. All right, now I'm about to show y'all how to hang it on the wall. All right, so. This is what I'm gonna use to be hanging this uh, headboard on the wall. I got these from Lowe's. I don't remember how much it was. I've been working on this project a long time, y'all. Um, I'll put how much it was in the description box, but hopefully this works. This is what I saw being used on a YouTube video that I saw for hanging uh, for DIY headboards. Um, so hopefully it works. If it doesn't work, um, I'll try another approach and I'll update y'all, but this is the method for hanging on music <laughs> for this head work for this video. All right, let's get to it. Ain't nothing to it, but to do it. <laughs> Where my pen? All right, so right now I just have the uh, headboard sitting on top of the platform to, to, uh, so I can uh, mark a general location where I'm gonna put it. I already set it up. I put the pillows on the bed just to make sure everything looks uh, good and copacetic. <laughs> I think that's the right word. I don't know. Anyways, oh, I set the pillows on the headboard to make sure everything looks fine. And now I'm about to use my level up to make a straight line going across. And then one of these pieces you attach to the wall. Oh, so there's two pieces in each pack. One piece attaches to the wall, other piece attached to the back of the headboard. Then you um, hang them together, kind of like 
this right here, if you can see me. So this is how it's gonna, uh, this is how it's gonna hold a headboard on the wall. Bim. I gotta take my shoes off. I don't wanna step on the mattress with my shoes on. All right. Y'all remember I made this uh, platform out of the box screen, just put legs on it and look. It's holding me up. It's holding me up. Oh, I did have to go back and put um, extra legs on the bottom just because this with four legs, it wasn't stable in the middle. Um, but once I put, I put two more legs on this side, two more legs on that side. It kind of looks real centipede-ish, but the bed is stable. That's all that matters. <laughs> screwdriver and a pencil to mark where you're going to put it. I already marked it with a pen. I don't suggest using pens, but that's all I got. Sometimes you got to work with what you got to get the way you want it. I think that's a African proverb. <laughs> smaller screws a leveler that you put on one side this is the wall side this is the headboard side Alright, it's time for the moment of 
true. I'm sorry if I keep showing you all the stuff, but I got a scar. Don't mind me. I just wanted them black so y'all could get the gist. But um, I just laid some curtains over the lampshades <laughs> that y'all been seeing. These are the legs. I told y'all I had to add two more legs to the middle. And it looks centipedish, but this is it. Doesn't it look like a real platform bed? Kinda, right? <laughs> I'm so proud. All right, y'all, that's it for the platform bed. Um, what is it called? Uh, the two-part platform bed series. Um, I'll have every all the information down in the description box. So check it out. And just in case you want to try it out yourself, it wasn't that hard. The hardest part I said was stapling those friggin' buttons to the headboard. But outside of that, everything was pretty easy. Um, everything was pretty affordable. I had most of the material laying around. The only thing I had to buy were the buttons, the legs, and the fabric, because I already had the foam, the foam don't ask me why. But anyways, um, until next time, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if anything goes wrong, I will let you guys know. But until next time, deuces out. <laughs> Bye.